Hello guys and gals, Solo here, and today we are back on the White Ice Cream server. Asimo's throwing stuff at me, it looks like redstone, I'll grab it, I don't really care. But, uh, I figured for this episode we would start off because, uh, we'd start off with an update on the whole cow farm thing. Uh, if you haven't seen my tutorial, I'll put a link to it in the screen in the bottom right corner right here. But, uh, with that, when I built it, I wasn't really sure if it would work on a server. And apparently last night, Asimo went ahead and built it. I had to fix a few things with the uh, redstone that he didn't exactly place properly. He hasn't done too much with redstone, I don't believe. But uh, the major thing we found out as far as how it could work on a server was uh, with the two clocks that I have underneath in my tutorial. It doesn't exactly uh, work because the uh, first clock would send a pulse, a uh, one tick pulse that would allow an item to transfer in the uh, second clock. But that wasn't really being picked up because of the uh, server lag. So. For, if you're going to make it on a server, it can be done. You just have to do everything the same other than the clocks. You can only have one clock, which means if you have it turned on, it's going to go off a little bit more often. You can just fill up one of these hoppers fully, and uh, it'll work. It'll go off every couple minutes rather than every, like, six or so. So, just so you know, I figured that'd be a good update to give. And, uh, yeah, congrats to Simo. You got a nice-looking cow farm. So here we are back at the house. There are just a couple uh, updates going on. We have a few... Uh, Small storage areas now. Uh, I haven't gone too far back into the mountain because I figured I'd wait for that for either this episode or maybe the next one. I'm not really sure. I have no idea what we're going to do for this episode. I'm just kind of going with it. Uh, Queso TV came on, uh, my friend and roommate in real life, and he made a giant S for me. He also went ahead and killed my donkey, drove him into the water, and he sunk like a rock and drowned right there, I think. So he's gone, but we do have a few cows all trapped. I'm not sure where they came from. They just kind of spawned up on the hill. And uh, things are going pretty well. It'd be nice to get some automated farms going on. I got a few slime blocks from somebody I traded for some iron. So that was pretty nice. So I have about six sticky pistons, which we can use for something. And uh, yeah, it should be pretty good. We can finally continue, get on with some stuff, and hopefully do some automation. All right, guys. So first order of business, I really want to enchant at least one of these. And... I didn't really think about it. Usually I have uh, everything centered, and I have this two blocks wide, which I can't really center a enchanting table. So we're going to find a, uh, a way to place a room in here somewhere. It'll look nice. I'm not really sure where we should uh, build it, but we need to make an enchantment room so I can hopefully get a silk touch and do some of that fun stuff. So at first I was thinking about putting the uh, you know enchantment room back here with all the uh, you know the bigger stuff, but this is kind of a big grand area and it's nothing really centered on one block. Everything is kind of in twos except for these doorways, which are gonna also go into the same room. So I can't really do that there. So I think we're just gonna go down. I went ahead and carved that part of a room down here, and we're gonna have an enchantment room down here, and I might build some other rooms over that way, just depending underneath the uh, main rooms up here. And we're back. I thought it'd be cool if we set up a little. Uh, a redstone key thing to get to the bottom room, so I'm gonna demonstrate that. So that obviously turns that on and off. Look at a little T flip flop going on back there. So that'll open and close that door, and now we're gonna close up this wall. All right, we're all patched up, and that works just well. <laughs> awesome, I like it. So that's pretty cool, and now we're gonna get to the uh, rest of this room. Uh, I know I'm jumping around a lot, but I don't really like the uh, first person perspective, and since we're on a server, I can't really do a third person recording of building, so we're just gonna. Okay, that was a little bit of delay, but whatever. Make sure that works properly. Alright, cool. We're good. So, it occurred to me as I was building that it probably wasn't going to be too nice to have it actually, you know, symmetrical with this room because that would lead it to be off-center with the room. So I went ahead and took this wall in by one, in towards us, and we're going to probably have a pathway back there for enchanted stuff and all that good kind of stuff, but we're going to build the rest of this room. Get some brick walls in there. Um, if I talk and mine at the same time, I sometimes place blocks incorrectly. Just like that. Oh, I need to stop talking. But we are going to finish this room off a little bit. Those don't even... God, I need to stop. Stop, 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 stop. And another different idea. We're going to use this as the storage area, kind of like up there, except for the enchantment room. And the enchantment area will be right back there. That'll be... That way it won't be in the way of everything. We'll have to go around the enchantment table to get to the storage room. And it can just be there uh, for enchanted items and books. We're probably not going to need that much room. Uh, on 1.8, when we do that, I'm probably going to make a bigger place for that. But considering, I'm hoping 1.8 is going to come out, hopefully, by this year. And if it does, I'm not going to need probably more than this for enchanted books and such. I remember making a big place for that on Torchlight, and I never got around to using even every chest. Because I had a different chest for every enchantment, and uh, it was a pretty big area. But we're going to break this area open. And this will be fine because the bud switch is up in that uh, that corner, so we are fine with that. 
And uh, yeah, we'll get back to you in just a moment when we place some of these chests and we start digging out this room. And there we have it, our storage room for enchanted goods, and I think it's looking pretty good. And I'm, I'm liking the whole uh, the hidden mechanism. I haven't really done one of those yet uh, before with the redstone torch. Well, I guess it's redstone. It's not a redstone torch key, but it is a redstone key. And they're pretty neat. They're pretty simple and small. I've just never really used them before. But now we're going to get to the uh, enchantment room, make that back a little bit, have our bookshelves and all that kind of good stuff. And we're going to finally enchant a couple of these. I made a few picks, and... Uh, I'm only going to be able to enchant like one or two. I'm going to go for uh, 26 because I really need the Silk Touch, and I believe in 1.7 that is the optimum level to get it. I remember uh, in Torchlight I was trying to get a uh, Silk Touch for so long, and the first time I did a level 26 I got a Silk Touch, so hopefully that will be the case here as well. I don't really recall where I got all this wool from, but I have a few different colors. I'm going to go ahead and use it. Uh, I was going to use all blue just because I used that in the front area, but I guess we can use different colors for different areas. I only had nine blue left, which would not have worked for all this stuff. So, But we are almost there. The moment of time. Uh, <laughs> the moment of time. Yeah, that was, that was a great saying. The moment of truth is coming. We're going to hopefully get a decent pick out of this whole thing. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Torch time. Boom, that's not right. There. That, I think that looks pretty good. Time to get the uh, the stuff. Let's go. Let's go grab that. All right, guys. I've been waiting for this for a while. There's the book. And uh, should we just place it against the wall? Yeah, that'll be good. And we need two more, I believe. There we go. Time for the enchantment. 26. You know what, I'll, I'll get back to you guys when I finally get find the, uh, the correct level. All right, I took those two bookshelves out and we finally got a 26. Fingers crossed, people. Fingers crossed. Ah! It's really hoping for Silk Touch. I'm gonna put these back. It, it's something. At least we got them breaking as well. All right, that's, that's not too bad. Um, I don't really want to take this mining though. We need to still touch still, so that way we can get the uh, the ores and bring them back. But that'll be cool for when we are actually breaking things, and uh, we'll get a lot more stuff. All right, so I don't really want to mine, so currently my plan is to wait for the sun to fall and then go beat the crap out of some zombies for uh, some levels. And uh, I don't know, that just popped up, and apparently somebody wants to give me something. So it's for my horse. I don't have a horse. Thank you, though. And I have a saddle inside, so... Oh, a lead! I needed one of those! Thank you! <laughs> now I have something to actually get the cows into the uh, farm when I build it, which I'm planning on doing soon. I think we should do that inside. Maybe that'll be the next order of business. The cow farm. Alright, guys, it has been decided. The cow farm is definitely the next order of business. I want to get that done, so we're going to make the uh, materials that I need for it and put them all in chests. That way we can have everything where we need it. And uh, stone bricks, stone, that's what we need. Um, I'm going to go ahead and craft a bunch of the stuff, and we will get back shortly after that. Alright, so we have some stone cooking, because at first I was planning to build the farm kind of in a big open area, but at the same time, it's not really anything fun to look at. It's just kind of a nice thing to have. So I think with the uh, farm, I'm going to have my output right around here. Unfortunately, my fans just kicked on, so uh, that's adding a bit of background noise, so I apologize for that. But uh, I think I have most of the materials in here. Uh, that should be enough for Peter's. Uh, I don't think I made quite enough for the, uh, the automatic wheat feeder at the top. But I'm going to worry about that after I actually get the uh, farm built itself. So, yeah, we might as well get started. I didn't mean to put those in there. But we're going to grab all of our stuff. This should be most of what we need for the farm. And uh, I'm going to get to work on this. All right, so, so far, so good. I put a torch in here with a light just to uh, light up the area a bit. Uh, where there's stone, I shouldn't really be seeing there anyway since I'm incorporating this into the wall. Uh, as far as getting on top, I'm probably going to have a staircase or something over here. That way you can go up there, uh, breed the cows, and then have them fall down here. Glass will obviously be in this area. But, uh, yeah, this will be kind of neat. I'm liking my signs, too. And I think this will be a really good spot for it to be. So, right now, I'm essentially just carving out what I need and don't need from a memory most of this anyway I think for that yeah I only need to there and uh, this is going pretty neat up here is obviously where I'll have the uh, cows I have an opening there already oh, I'm gonna have to have a staircase going up here or something like that so there will be a floor level up there maybe just a little bit higher depending on uh, what I do and uh, 
Yeah, I figured the best way to do would just be to knock out part of this wall. I was trying to go in small, but uh, I can just rebuild the wall. It'll be a lot easier. And uh, this should be... Yeah, I I'm excited. We're finally getting this done. This will be cool. All right, so I made a mistake earlier, and I didn't have this quite down far enough. I had this one level higher, but now we have our lovely hopper clock all built. I don't have any items in it yet, as I don't want it moving around. But I also have a nice location for the switch. I might move it over, depending... It might go better there, I'm not really sure, but that's kind of centered, so that might be good. But there we go, we can pause that, and now we can build the rest of our farm. But uh, it's coming along well, and we are almost done, I think. Finally! Ugh, I, guys, I don't know what was going on, but I swear to the life of me that that block right there that I am touching is cursed. It would not dispense the lava at all. If it was sitting there facing this direction, you know, that way, it would just not turn on. However, if I sat it in here, anywhere else it would turn on. Uh, one block over it would turn on, everywhere. But right there, it would not turn on. I had to put it over here and uh, just kind of adjust the platform a little bit, move it over. And it's working fine now, but it didn't matter. The lava was in there, it was getting a signal. I could even hit it with a button and it would just kind of send the uh, the dust particles or smoke particles out and it wouldn't dispense lava and I'm not sure why but it's fine we got it to work I'm happy now it was very frustrating though and I'm ready to just put this behind me I'm about to run out of stone but we have more so that's good and you're almost there there that looks really nice that will be my cow farm all tucked away nice in the wall and I'll have a staircase going up there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and work on that a little bit and get some cows. And we will be back, hopefully, with a functioning farm. All right, guys, here it is. Da -da -da. Yeah, there's no glass there right now because I have that blocked off. And I don't have the lava in there because I'm keeping it down here for safekeeping. I already burned up one. I had to go get more lava. That was no fun. But we did get two adult cows up here. And currently there is a calf. They might be ready again. Let's see if they are. It would appear they are. There we go. Two more. So now uh, we should have about four cows in their total. Not all adults, but you know what I mean. We got this all set up, so that's click in doing its thing uh, when we want that to be on. I don't have the staircase done, but that will be done shortly. And uh, yeah, should be good. Have my glass and my lava down there. So those beef and leather, and that should be pretty cool. Uh, next time, I think I'd like to get an AFK wheat farm going because depending on how often I want to use this, I could go through a lot of wheat and get a lot of beef and leather, which would be kind of cool, and could potentially, you know, use it for whatever. I don't know why, but I really like the cow farms. They just, they're pretty neat. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, that's about all the time we have for today, so I'm going to have to get going. We're going to have to leave the other stuff for the future, but we did get an enchantment room done. I'm not quite up to 26, so I can't uh, enchant another pick yet, but we will do that on the next episode. Hopefully, for Silk Touch, I really, really need one of those. But uh, yeah, there's still a lot of stuff to do, obviously. This is only the second episode. But we're getting a house built and already a couple, you know, a farm and enchantment rooms. So that's not too bad. And uh, hopefully the next episode will be before an entire week passes, just like this last one. But it was a bit of a busy week and I didn't really have too much time to be on here. So I'm going to have to get going. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Uh, leave a comment, say hi, whatever you want to do. Any suggestions, I'm free to open to them. And uh, if you comment, I'll get back to you ASAP. So, uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to go have yourself a great day, night, whatever time it is where you are. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.